Phil Ebener here with VideoSchoolOnline.com and in this tutorial I'm going to walk through how you use the Essential Sound panel in Premiere Pro. This was released in April of 2017 when they updated the Creative Cloud version of Premiere Pro. So this tutorial isn't going to walk through all the nitty gritty of how you actually edit and all that kind of stuff, but it's basically how this panel works. So to open that panel, just go up to Window when you're in Premiere Pro, Window, and choose Essential Sound. This is sort of the next level with the Essential Graphics panel that we've seen before as well. Awesome, so when you don't have anything selected and you open up the Essential Sound panel, this is what you'll see. And basically what this allows you to do is quickly edit different types of audio using somewhat more of a preset. You can also edit multiple clips at once. And this video right here that I have open is a good example of when you would want to really use this essential graphic, essential sound panel, that is. So to edit audio with this, select the audio you want to edit. And then you see that once you have audio selected, you have these presets, which is awesome because there's presets that are already built in or if you want, you can save presets. Say you edit a podcast of yourself or a video series of yourself or you're editing a long series of videos for someone else and you're always editing someone's voice the same way, you can create a preset so you don't have to reapply a bunch of settings over and over. But if you don't want to use a preset, you can choose one of these other audio type assignments. So for dialogue, which this is, I would select dialogue. And when you click that, you get more options. So you get your presets at the top, which we saw before. And these are just presets that you can go through and see what they sound like. If you click over the intercom, it's going to sound like the audio is coming over one of those inter intercoms. So let me put that back to default. And you can kind of play through these. Some are fun, some are you know more creative. Others will actually make your voice sound even better. For example, balanced male voice, balanced female voice, and podcast, podcast voice are the ones that I would play around with first. Then below your presets, you have your different editing options. Similar to how the Lumetri color panel or the essential graphics panel works, you can click on these sort of tabs and it opens. Going from top to bottom, loudness is a really cool one because this allows you, if you select multiple clips, to match the loudness of all of the clips. Perfect for if you have multiple people that you've edited together on one sequence, like this one. So here, this is a promo video for a digital marketing class that I created with Diego Davila. And because we recorded separately in different environments, and at different levels, I had to go in and manually adjust the levels to match. But I could have, with the central sound panel, selected all of, all of my clips, gone to the loudness setting, and clicked auto match. And that will match the audio, the audio loudness. Next, you have repair, which allows you to reduce background noise or rumble. So just click on those and then increase this slider to reduce more background noise or less. You also have de-hum here. So if you have sort of a, a low humming noise, this could be from an air conditioner unit in the background or something like that, you can reduce that with that checkbox. Clarity will try to make your voice a little bit more clear. So just clicking on that dynamics button and increasing the slider will help that. And then you also have, if you scroll down within the clarity, if I make this a little bit bigger, we can see more of the options. You have EQ with its different presets. So again, this is diving into specific editing tools within these this whole preset for dialogue. And you can choose vocal presence, podcast, voiceover, all kinds of different presets there. You have this enhanced speech option right here, which will just automatically try to EQ your voice to make it sound better and also creative options. So you have reverb that you can add and you can choose what you want it to sound like. This is good for effects if you're making more creative films, uh, but not something you necessarily want to add for just a talking head video. And then lastly, you have your clip volume. So you can check this button and just increase by decibel or decrease by decibel uh, how loud you want this clip to be or even mute it. 
So those are all the different options you have within the dialogue audio type. If you go up and choose a preset up here, so let's just go to podcast voice, you'll see that these settings are automatically adjusted. And you can always go back to individual clips and make adjustments as well. I have all of these clips selected right now. And if I wanna go back and edit one individually, I can go into that clip and go into the essential sound panel and make edits or adjustments to that individual clip. So it's kind of similar to if you're taking the Premiere Pro CC course of mine or you've seen other tutorials of mine. It's similar to going into your effects controls and editing audio this way, which is actually when you add essential sound effects or adjustments, they appear under audio effects in your effects controls. Similar to if you make Lumetri color adjustments with the Lumetri color panel, it also appears here in your effects controls panel, but it's not as easily or visually easily edited in this panel as it is with the essential sound panel. The last thing I wanna mention is there's these other types. So if I click, I had already edited this, but if I click on the music, for example, this is one of my favorite features of this panel. I can choose music. They have different presets, but the one I love is balanced background music, which will try to balance the audio to your dialogue because you want your music to be at a lower level than your dialogue. And so this will try to automatically balance the music to any dialogue. I found that it's not perfect. Sometimes I need to drop it down a little bit lower, which you can do with the clip volume here, but it's a good place to start. You also have these presets for remix to 30 seconds, 60 seconds, and 90 seconds, which will automatically cut down your audio or extend to 30, 60, or 90 seconds, which is awesome if you are editing a shorter version of a video that you have. For example, if you wanna make a short social media version of that. Cool, so if you have any questions about the Essential Sound Panel, let me know, but hopefully you understand how it works now. Next, all you have to do is go in, play around with the specific settings. A lot of things with audio, it takes going in, diving in, and seeing how you actually edit it to see what actually sounds good. Like for editing audio dialogue, for example, I might like the podcast voice EQ preset for Diego, but when I go to me, I might like something else. So it takes playing around with it. You also have these sliders to play around with the mount. The goal is that this makes it easy to edit audio if you're not an audio en engineer and just by playing around, you can get something that sounds really awesome. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in another Premiere Pro tutorial.